What is up YouTube? Today I am doing a review of the iPod Touch 5th generation. Now as you can see I do have the blue one and I always carry this around with me. I always do it just because I do not have a case for this yet. Um, yeah, I am recording with my other iPod Touch 5th generation. So I'm basically doing a review of, I guess, the blue one because the I have already done a review of the pink one so now let's get on to the review of the blue one the blue one is really nice and sleek uh, I know you guys are gonna criticize me for all these air bubbles on it but I really don't care it's protecting my screen isn't it so yeah so that's uh, my review of the iPod touch fifth generation is well first of all this is dead see it's not charged is it is a really nice device if you were gonna buy an iPod and you didn't know what to buy and you didn't want to get the iPod 4 well actually it the iPod 4 has stopped they have stopped being made so yeah I'd get an iPod 5 now if you were doing like a comparison against iPod 5 versus iPad mini I would get the iPad mini because it's only like a, a couple hundred bucks more and you get a lot more to choose from you get like a larger screen and then it probably updates to iOS a lot better but then again if you are a jailbreaker for uh, like if you want to jailbreak things which for those that you don't for those of you that don't know you can uh, jailbreaking just like makes your device a lot better like a lot more customizable to yourself and so, for those of you that want to jailbreak, I would get an iPod, not an iPad, because it is illegal to jailbreak an iPad, but not an iPod. So, yeah, that is about it. But overall, I think the iPod Touch generation is worth its money. And as you can see, I have not worn a case on this all, like, I've had it for about three months and I've dropped it multiple times and not a single dent or scratch so I think this is really worth its money so please like rate comment and subscribe please share with your friends and this is Caleb signing out